So in the other videos, we sort of glossed over how everything was connected and how we actually got MIDI coming from the controller, through live, from the computer, into these other synths, and how we mix audio and things like that. So here's a little bit more detail about that. Um, from the controller itself, we have USB MIDI that's providing power, and also the MIDI in and out. So this gets, this gets MIDI from the computer to light the LEDs and give me some talkback information, uh, and then of course sends MIDI out from all these controllers into live. Um, and then there's also a MIDI plug here, so there's MIDI output coming from this, and that's what's um, sending the MIDI to the MOFO for playing those notes. Um, but that's actually sort of traffic, all the traffic is directed in live. Um, for the Tempest, we're just using the Tempest USB. We could have used the MIDI ports on this, um, but we decided to go with USB because we had that cable handy. And that's just going into another USB port and shows up as a MIDI port in Ableton Live. Um, and then as far as audio is concerned, we have the stereo audio coming out from the MOFO, stereo audio coming out from the Tempest, and then just my mini plug from the laptop is providing the audio for the clips and the VST synth. And then that's all going into a multi-channel device. Um, all the plugs are going in here. Um, now those things could, these could be routed from um, their outputs into the inputs here and we could mix them from live, but we didn't really see a strong need to do that. Um, for mastering and things like that, you might find, a, find that's a better thing to do. Um, I want to cover about how we actually routed some of the things from the controller and from live to go into these two synths. Um, a lot of that is just set up in the preferences. Um, in live, we can enable the outputs for uh, all of our various devices. So the controller has, it shows up with two ports, one for the USB and another for the MIDI jack here. So we need to enable that output, and then that way we can send MIDI from live um, to the controller, and then from the controller, it just gets mirrored out to the MOFO. And similarly for the Tempest, that's getting MIDI directly from live uh, as a port here on the USB cable. Um, the trick for live, as far as talking to outboard gear, there's a, an instrument called the external instrument. And that provides you with a gateway to be able to traffic, to direct the traffic of MIDI from you know, whatever instruments or MIDI clips you have to outboard gear. Um, I've got that set up in all of my little sequencers here. So the sequencers will send MIDI um, to, the, to the drum pads in the drum rack in live, and then eventually reach the external instrument where it, I can direct what MIDI port, which is the Tempest, and the channel, which is channel one, uh, for the drums. The bass synth is listening on channel 16, and so I've got that on my external instrument going to channel 16. Um, the drum rack setup is a little bit interesting here because this is where we determine what, um, what the sequences for all of the different drum pads will actually output. Uh, in the chain that we create in the drum rack, we have the MIDI note assignments here. And in order to get those, we have like C1 for the dry kick, uh, C sharp 1 for the boom kick, for the snare is getting E1, etc. Uh, we just looked in the Tempest manual and found what the general MIDI assignments are by default for the Tempest, and we mapped those accordingly. Um, furthermore, I did a little bit, a little bit more work because I wanted some timbral control, so I added a Max for Live device in the chain, so I could um, send a pitch bend from the encoders to the Tempest to do some filter control, and similarly for the uh, Mofo, I can uh, actually have a little bit more control because it has a um, a lot of CC messages that it can listen to for filter and envelope and those types of controls, tuning of the oscillators. And so those are all linked, again, through a Max for Live device. And I can select in the menu uh, what parameter I want to control on the MOFO and just latch that to one of the encoders. And uh, it just puts all the control right at my hands. Um, so that's sort of some detail about how to you know, map all of your MIDI and all of your um, controls and how to get all of that traffic directed so it goes the right places. Um, it's not too difficult to set up. 
and once you have it set up, you can make some magic with these devices.